Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Hot Rod Workshop. It's a rainy, dreary October day here in Pennsylvania, so good opportunity to pick up where we left off on the flathead distributor. So if you recall, in part one of the distributor video, we review the differences of the flathead distributors throughout the years. Uh, we disassembled and analyzed the internal workings of the crab style distributor set up for our flathead here. We then cleaned and reassembled the distributor with a new cap, new rotor, points, and condenser. So with all that out of the way, the next step is to set our points in our initial advance before we throw it back on the engine. So looking at the distributor from this perspective, the right-hand side set of points sets your timing, the left-hand side points set your dwell. I'm gonna put a little mark on the post just to make it easy. The factory point gap for two bolt flathead distributors is between 14 and 16 thou. I like to split it right down the center at 15. To set the point, you turn the drive by hand until you notice the rubbing block of that first set of points is right on the peak of that cam lobe. From there, you use your feeler gauge to verify your gap. Now I'm a little too close, so what I'm gonna do is loosen these two bolts which secure the saddle to the plate and i'm going to turn this screw which works as a cam bringing that set of points in and out you can kind of notice the cam action there so you want to find your sweet spot right at 15 thou okay Perfect. All right, now off to the other set of points. Same thing, just bring that cam right to the peak on that rubbing block, set to 15 thou. All right, next up is to set the initial advance. Now, setting up these distributors for initial advance can be a little bit of a pain. If you notice, the slot that engages your camshaft is a little off center. You have a shallow section of flat and a heavy section of flat. You wanna take a straight edge and ride it up against the slot on that heavy side. From there, you wanna turn clockwise. Now, when you approach this mounting hole, you wanna take a second straight edge, run it up against the first straight edge, and turn until the leading edge of that hole reaches 3 eighths of an inch from this flat here. Now, that sounds pretty precarious, doesn't it? I thought the same thing. That's why we developed this. This is a simple tool that will help you set initial timing on these distributors. You take up the slack because it goes only in that direction. You spin until the holes align, run the pin through, magnetize to keep it from falling out. Now you can set your initial advance. Now with our timing jig set in place, we can go ahead and set our initial timing to four degrees before top dead center. First step is to loosen the timing screw on the side. This allows the breaker plate to move, adjusting your timing. Now, you can adjust it till there's about five thousandths of an inch between the two points on the timing set of points. Um, I don't have a five thousandths shim or feeler gauge of any kind. So what I did is I set up my own meter, um, one lead on the primary, the other lead on the casing, and that gets you pretty close to five thousandths. Now, an ohm meter will certainly get you close enough, 
but I couldn't help myself. I went ahead and folded up some tin foil until I reached about five thou, and I went with that. Not the best way to go about it, but you know, it doesn't hurt to check your work. All right, our points are set. Our initial timing of four degrees before top dead center is set. Any other tuning that takes place from here happens with the vacuum brake on the engine. That being said, the higher octane fuels of today in relation to the 30s, 40s, and 50s, uh, the vacuum brake usually leads to be more of an issue than a help. Um, a lot of guys remove these entirely and have no problem. People that tend to keep them involved tend to run the advance all the way up. So yeah, six to one, half a dozen the other. You want to try it, go for it. If it ends up being an issue, maybe it's a good idea to entertain uh, removing it. So if you do want to run the vacuum brake, uh, this adjustment is done while the vehicle is under load. Uh, you undo this uh, jam nut, you run the bolt out with the engine under load until it starts to ping. Then you bring it back in. I can't imagine anyone being interested in riding on top of a flathead engine while it's going down the road. So there's a bunch of back and forth. You bring it out, see if it pings, bring it back in. Ultimately, you're trying to find that sweet spot between the spring overcoming the vacuum and the vacuum doing its job. As we re hodgepodge the flathead, see if we can fire it up with our freshly tuned distributor. I think it's safe to say that these tools make setting the initial timing a lot easier. Beats fiddling around with two straight edges and hoping that it doesn't move on you when you're in the middle of making your adjustments. So we have these available now for the two bolt crab style distributors and we're currently in the R&D stage uh, to make another tool that will help set initial timing for the helmet style distributors. If you're interested in purchasing one of these tools, they are $30 shipped anywhere in the United States and we'll work it the same way we did with the coffee mugs. I'll make a link in the description of this video to my PayPal account. You send me $30, your name, your address, and in the description write that you want the two bolt flathead timing tool and I'll get them to you as fast as I can. Another kind of accidental feature of this tool is if you set this and you have it all rebuilt, ready to rock and roll, you can leave this tool on your distributor, put it on the shelf, maybe even throw a bolt or a toe tag on it, and uh, you'll know that this distributor is ready to go. I'd like to thank Craig at Fresh Prince 3D Design for helping me get this idea off the ground and made into a reality. And of course, to all of you, thanks for watching. It's still raining outside?